Knott's Landing, a show that started in 1979, is a journey into the lives of four married couples living in a cul-de-sac named Seaview Circle. It's a spin-off of another popular show, Dallas. The series dives into the personal and professional lives of its characters, showing us the ups and downs of middle-class life. It's filled with moments that make you laugh, gasp, and even shed a tear. Now think about the show and ask yourself, has there been a scene that stuck with you over the years? Maybe it's a moment that made you think or feel something strong. And what about the show itself makes it stand out? Could it be the characters that feel like real people or the stories that seem like they could happen to anyone? We're curious to hear about your favorite memories or experiences with Knott's Landing. Share your stories in the comments. We'd love to hear what moments from the show have stayed with you. Of course. You'd be surprised how much we have in common. It's a pity you couldn't stay, Laura. Knott's Landing, a television series that started in 1979, was well received for its portrayal of middle class life and the personal and professional lives of its characters. It became a favorite for many viewers and had a strong influence on popular culture. The show led to the creation of related products like books and DVDs. It also inspired other TV shows and storylines, showing its lasting appeal and influence on entertainment. Knott's Landing ran for 14 seasons, making it one of the longest-running primetime dramas in S television history. Its success paved the way for similar shows and left a lasting mark on TV storytelling. In a pivotal move that arguably saved the show from cancellation, Donna Mills was brought on board to play the role of Abby after the first season. Her addition proved to be a significant boost, keeping her in the cast for nine years until 1989. Meanwhile, Michelle Lee ensured her character would stay young at heart with a contract clause stating she would never play a grandmother. The show's title, A Playful Choice by David Jacobs, drew inspiration from the cul de sacs Apollo's Verds, and the common landing designation in coastal American towns, with Knott's adding a touch of humor to the marital ties depicted in the series. Today, and he says that with Thornwell's PR firm behind him, he can get all sorts of publicity for Teddy's. In the early stages of his career, Kevin Dobson received guidance from Telly Savalas, known for his role on Kojak. Dobson's portrayal of Detective Bobby Crocker spanned 115 episodes. Later, he shared the screen with Nicolette Sheridan, who, despite being Savalas' stepdaughter, regarded him as her father. The departure of Donna Mills from the show led to a renewed focus on the relationship between Val and Gary, much to the audience's anticipation. Joan Van Ark is notable for her portrayal of Valene Ewing across three series, creating a unique continuity for her character over several decades. Come on, Abby, say what you came to say. Julie Harris, encouraged by her friend Joan Van Ark, joined the cast as Lillamy Clements, Valene Ewing's mother, and transitioned from a recurring to a permanent character in the fourth season. The show faced challenges in continuity when reruns began, necessitating a recap of previous storylines for the audience. A significant shift occurred in the 13th season with a drop in viewership following the departure of writer-producers Bernard Lechoic and Lynn Marie Latham and the reduced involvement of creator David Jacobs due to health issues. This led to a halt in production and a change in the writing team in an effort to revitalize the show. It's gonna happen for you. Yeah, I know it will. Well, why don't I uh, treat you to some fresh air? In the landscape of television dramas, personal touches from actors often bring authenticity to their roles. Such was the case with Kevin Dobson, who infused his character Marion Patrick Mac McKenzie with a nod to his own family, naming him after his children, Mariah and Patrick. The creative process behind the scenes was equally dynamic, with John Plachette, after contributing to eight episodes, seeking to expand his role from writing to directing. Despite initial resistance from the show's producers, his persistence paid off, leading to his directorial debut in the ninth season. The show also served as a launching pad for numerous now famous actors, including Ted Shackelford, Lisa Hartman Black, and Hal Berry, marking the beginning of their successful careers in the entertainment industry. Do you know how many millions you could have cost up? Michelle Lee set a record with her 344 consecutive appearances in a primetime drama, showcasing her dedication and consistency. Despite the on-screen rivalry, Donna Mills formed a lasting friendship with her co-stars Michelle Lee and Joan Van Ark, a testament to the bonds formed during filming. 
The pivotal decision to cast Donna Mills as Abby Cunningham was a strategic move by Michelle Lee, David Jacobs, and Michael Feilerman, which paid off by revitalizing the show's ratings and securing its continuation. Mills' nearly uninterrupted presence from 1980 to 1989 was crucial to the show's success. What? That's insufficient bid. <laughs> Director Ruling! Mrs. Brightwood, please. Dr. Ackerman, you have given a bid that is too... At a poignant moment of television history, actor Don Murray portrayed a character who left a heartfelt message for his family, expressing his deep love for them. This scene gained a layer of depth when Murray shared that he had experienced a similar event in his own life. The show's conception was initially set aside in favor of a more dramatic narrative, but it found its way back to the screen following the success of its counterpart, Dallas. The creators reintroduced the concept by incorporating characters Gary and Val Ewing into the storyline. The dynamic between Gary, Val, and Abby, which became a central plot, was suggested by actors Ted Shackelford and Joan Van Ark. Despite initial hesitation, the producers embraced this narrative, bringing it to life in 1982 and adding a new dimension to the series. He thinks I should give in. Yeah. The bond between William Devane and John Plachette, both of whom shared the screen with Constance McCashin as Laura, was forged long before their television collaboration. Their friendship began on the stage with the play McBird, a hit that sparked controversy. This connection led them to work together in numerous plays. In the show's production, Plachette joined first and contributed for four years before departing. Devane, initially set for a brief guest appearance of eight episodes, took over and became a key figure in the series. Meanwhile, Don Murray, another prominent actor, chose to exit the series early in the third season to pursue different ventures. In a parallel to the parent series Dallas, where Linda Gray portrayed an alcoholic storyline, Ted Shackelford's character on this show experienced a similar challenge aligning with a pivotal plot point, the murder of Siggy. I feel very good. Very good. He feels very good. I feel great. As a matter of fact, Michelle Lee, Ted Shackelford, and Joan Van Ark hold the unique distinction of being present at both the beginning and the conclusion of a long-running drama, witnessing its evolution from uncertain beginnings to a celebrated finale. Despite a rocky start with low ratings, the show managed to survive the threat of cancellation, even after attempts to boost viewership by introducing guest stars from a popular contemporary show failed to significantly improve its standing. Joan Van Ark's collaboration with Ted Shackelford extended beyond this drama as they shared the screen in episodes across four different television series, showcasing their dynamic as a duo that resonated with audiences over the years. Working closely with William Devane, Michelle Lee found his approach to his role quite unique. Devane would often bring his own interpretation to the character, leading to spontaneous rewrites during filming. While this method was mostly successful, it presented challenges for the production team in terms of scheduling and continuity. The cast experienced a sobering moment when Larry Riley returned to the set looking drastically different after a significant weight loss. Initially attributing it to kidney issues and high blood pressure, it was later revealed by his widow that he had been battling AIDS, which ultimately led to his passing. On a lighter note, Michelle Lee shared a personal tidbit from behind the scenes, confessing her early fondness for co-star Kevin Dobson, adding a touch of human interest to the show's history. Who wants your bod? Well, why don't you tell her... 